Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the new gameplay objective Lewis Miller card to review today. Lewis Miller, Lewis Amiga, one or the other. We'll call him Lewis Miller for now. Uh, guys, with this card, we're taking a look at someone who is a five foot nine, high, high work rates, uh, right footed, three star skills, three star weak foot. So right off the bat, it is a card that you mainly want to use in the right-sided areas or potentially by himself if his defense actually lines up perfectly let's see what this card actually looks like in game so player traits he has the finesse shot tray which i guess is helpful but it is a card that you mainly use in the defensive positions i would say like cdm possibly as one of your center mids in a 4-4-2 uh in-game attributes acceleration is higher than sprint speed which is good he's going to have 92 acceleration with 85 sprint speed for a car that's mostly going to be on state back while attacking, that's actually quite solid. 79 attacking, positioning, uh, 71 finishing, 80 for shot power. Okay. So shooting is okay on the card. Base card stats for passing is at an 87 for short passing, 82 for long passing, 88 composure. With dribbling stats of the way that it is. Hmm. So agility and, agility and dribbling and stuff could be low from time to time but you have to understand that this card is five foot nine so those dribbling stats for a midfielder is perfectly fine in my opinion but we'll see how he performs in game obviously uh base card stats for defending also set up really nicely so that if you give him uh the shadow chemistry style the only thing that's going to be low ish is defensive awareness but he is a high high work rate player that's mostly going to be staying back so pretty solid there as well Last but not least, guys, we have physical stats at an 81 for strength, 80 for aggression, and a 96 for stamina. So, to be fair, the card is actually formatted okay. It's not too bad. Uh, the dribbling stats I do want to check out in-game because here's the thing, man. He is a lean body type player while being 5'9", so I think the dribbling for the midfield position could be perfectly fine. Uh, we are going to be trying him out in a 4-4-2 four, because four, I want to play him next to somebody else just to see how he's kind of... What he's like kind of pushing forward coming back my boy already set up the tactics for this with the 442 nice that's actually perfect except for this i do want to switch this i can see why he went like this it actually makes a lot of sense but i just want to switch bernardo up top because i actually want to try him there uh stay back cover center that's perfect so we can test out the attacking ai and defensive ai as much as possible cool awesome awesome okay we'll see what he's like in game hopefully he's sick Netflix and chill. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Let's see what his dribbling is like first. Get the ball to him here. Listen, for a midfielder, the lean body type, not bad. Yeah, the last second touches are actually pretty solid for a midfielder. I'm okay with that. Pass with a weak foot. tracking there was actually pretty solid that wasn't bad at all the acceleration part on the card is definitely noticeable i do like that for the transition speed left and right really good run by him there that was actually solid with the high attacking work rates oh nice Oh, that shot's got to be better. No way. Oh, no, dude. Because over there, guys, I definitely shot it to the bottom side. And he shot it directly at the goalkeeper. That was a huge letdown. Wow. Yeah, I just had to transition really quickly there with him. His transition speed is good, guys. I do notice it being solid on the card because of the fact that he does have... A lean body type with decent dribbling stats for a midfielder. Nice, good goal there. We'll take that. Good little build-up play. That's why I always say, guys, like strong foot on the strong side as much as possible. Good finish there by Mara's though. Lewis Miller was positioned well right there. He was positioned well. Oh, almost, almost. Doesn't have the reach for it there on those tackles. Ooh, the trackback's very fast with him. That's good. Oh, 
good. It wasn't like too pushed off. Very solid there. Nice. Good play. Good play. Guys, I'm going to be honest with you, man. Like, because I, I was thinking about this little combination play for my main RTG accounts, like doing the Bernardo Silva Fakir thing up top. It's actually working out really well because I guess Fakir with the high mediums and then Silva with the high highs, it's actually pretty nice. Oh, he sent me a message. My G, it's a Milo review. I'm not even playing regular FIFA. <laughs> like, you know? I'm playing, like, when it's midfielder reviews, it's usually, like, I would say, like, 75% regular FIFA. You still try to force certain things out of the card. Force them out of, like, uncomfortable situations and whatnot. Like that. Nice. Yeah, touch and go, touch and go. Good stuff. Nice, Mela. Oh, that pass was a letdown. My goodness, what was that? No, I didn't get that. Cafu, is that like a player that a lot of people were packing? Desai, Joao Cancelo, Joe Cole. Joe Cole's probably his foot heroes. Neymar, Mbappe. It's unfortunate that it doesn't show the miss with Luis Milla. I'm from my homie's account, I actually have to turn on the... Um, I gotta turn on like the input for the thing. Division 2. Oh, that's right, because uh, this is the account I got the elites for on the Fellaini, so he probably relegated to Division 2 because of the new season. Is it in visual? I think it's visual, right? For input? Yeah, input overlay. There it is. Cool. Would I give a card like this a hunter? Let me see. I mean, here's the thing. So I am using him in a 4-4-2 setup, and it's really good to use him in a 4-4-2 setup to try him out in that center mid area, attacking and defensive wise. Um, but you could definitely tell that he is mainly a card that you use in a CDM position, mostly like in a 4-2-3-1 or something, right? Uh, those are definitely gonna be the more ideal areas for him. That shot that he took inside the 18, not sure if it's like a registration thing, but he didn't even have like power behind it. It was kind of strange, but I am noticing that his attack and defense is equal. Like the high, high work rates is, no is very noticeable. He actually gets himself into good areas inside the 18 yard box, but the shot was definitely a letdown from him for sure. I think when people play FIFA, they care too much about the results, man. Like, just just play. Like, I can lose 3-0. It's like, whatever. Like, I used to care back in the day more, but this year, it's like, who cares, man, honestly. This guy's got Ronaldo in his team? Jeez, that's crazy. I'm gonna need a... I'm gonna need a masterclass from my homie G over here. Let's go, Milla. And that defensive play. Let's go, Milla, a CDM beast. Let's go. If I'm like not too focused on him in like a 4-4-2 and I'm using him in like a, like I said, a, a main CDM position, I don't mind the card. Game's not letting me dribble backwards there, that's weird. Again, you definitely notice the work rates, man. Like, he actually does track back really nicely. Ooh. Oh, again. No. We'll take it. Yeah, so we're forcing a lot of situations out of the card to kind of, like, test out, testing out um, certain things. And... Like I said, guys, to be honest with you, defensively, the card's actually not that bad if you're focused on using him mainly in that way, in that CDM position, preferably on the right side. Like, you're noticing that in this game, it's still a 4-4-2, but we're actually kind of seeing more of, of his defensive capabilities as much as possible. And like I said, he's not bad. It's just more the attack for shooting sometimes where you may notice an issue, but it's okay. I, honestly, I would have preferred if they gave him like a medium high work rate just for that, that like consistency of mainly using him as a defensive player, but I want to keep testing him out. Ooh, that, that first touch was a little bit rough right there. The drag was kind of crazy. I'm pretty sure that was like a competitive player, guys, because uh, he had like a full, full meta team. Like, I don't really know too many like, regular people that have uh, 
squads like that. He's probably so confused, man. I was just like doing the Miller review, like trying to test him out defensively and stuff. <laughs> he was just, he was just like driven past into the middle. Do this, do that. I was like, oh God. <laughs> Okay, so for the third game, uh, we'll be playing some regular FIFA. We'll uh, we'll do some like back and forth regular stuff. To see what the vibes are. This guy has Di Natale in his team. I heard really good things about Di Natale this year. Like people really like that card. All right, I'll try attacking. Let's see the vibes. Hey man, a little bit of pressure. A little bit of pressure. I like it. Ooh, under pressure. What a beast. I definitely feel a little bit of a sway to him, for sure. Like, there's a little bit of one. Nice! Good goal, good goal. We'll take that. Good stuff, good stuff. For this 4-4-2, guys, like I mentioned in the um, review of the formation, it's very important to have the right balance of midfielders. Like, you really need a good medium-high work rate player for this. Just very exploitive in the uh, middle area, for sure. Beauty! Yeah, I don't mind this uh, Fakir-Bernardo Silva partnership. It's nice. Pretty cool. Nice, Melo, my boy, get those defensive plays. I wanted to try that out with the weak foot. Why not, right? Melo, defensive beast. Let's go. Actually might score from this, maybe. Probably not going to get that. Not against Lord Kempempe. That would have been a nice play. That would have been sick. Nice. Good catch. Good catch. Seriously? The goalies are saving that? No way. That was a sick play, too. Don't do this. Oh, I was trying to get the, the drag touch with the left stick, but he kind of registered to the ball a little bit strangely. Yeah, this card, guys, uh, he's definitely way more defensive oriented, for sure. Like 100% more defensive oriented with the way that he moves across the pitch. But uh, yeah, he's OK. We'll talk about him. OK, guys, so final verdict on the new Lewis Miller card. So in regards to how he performs in game, guys, the shadow chemistry style, in my opinion, is going to make the most sense. Right. So because his original position is actually the CDM area, that's where he is going to be best utilized, in my opinion. Right. You can definitely 100 percent use him as one of your center mids in a 442. You just got to make sure that you have a medium high work rate player next to him, especially in the 442 that we have formatted just for that balance in the midfield, because if you have a balance where you have, uh, you know, Camavinga and a Lewis Miller, you could definitely make it work for sure. I personally just don't want the high highs for both, right? So it's just good to have that balance between the two. But for me personally, this card is definitely more of a defensive oriented card, right? Because with the way that he performs on the pitch, I just want him to be as good as possible defensively more than I want him to be as good as possible attacking wise, right? So let's just say, for instance, I were to use um, a 4 2 3 1 narrow or a 4 2 3 1 wide, whatever it is, I would want to mainly use him in that right center defensive position on stay back while attacking cover center. Here's the thing though, right? I did notice his high, high work rates. He actually does attack. He actually does get into those attacking positions as well as has this aggressiveness when it comes to this track back. So if we're going to do comparisons between gameplay objective cards, this card is significantly better than the Oxford card that they gave us. I think that Oxford was completely generic for what he offered in game, just not special at all, in my opinion. But Lewis Miller is cool for what he offers, right? Like I say the word cool because he's obviously not a meta card, because here's the thing about the Miller card. The cool thing about him is that if you want to get a link 
between him and Machi's, and it's a gameplay objective with a 10k card, it's not bad to work with because the Machi's card is this one right here. I'm going to be honest, I didn't try out this card yet. I don't know what he's like. Some people were actually asking for this review, but I just never got around to it because I do so many, right? So uh, with the Hunter Chemistry style, right? Good stamina, high medium work rates. It's a link that you can work with in a 4-3-3 while you work with some other Liga Santander link around the midfield because Luis Milla is a Spanish player. So it's not like crazy hard to link with in a team, especially for that 4-3-3. So I'm okay with the gameplay objective in that way, right? But if you're going to do it in a comparison way, obviously, meta-wise, it's way better to have someone like Marcus Lorente, right? With Marcus Lorente's card, he is 40k. Let me see. So midfielders like Parejo, you guys know me, medium mediums. I'm not about that life, right? But Parejo is pretty decent for what he is. But with Marcus Lorente, the thing about this card, yeah, is that base card stats for shooting is nice, but he is that person that's going to attack really nicely for you. Have that four star weak foot, high medium work rates. There's a consistency to it, right? On a shadow chemistry style, even on seven chemistry, this card is still going to be better than the Miller card, right? Now, it's a weird comparison because one is a high medium, one is a high high, so the play style is a little bit different. But at the same time, it's not, right? Because if I were to use Lorente in the team, it's because I want him to be that box-to-box -box player, push forward, come back, push forward, come back. And that's what Lewis Miller is doing for the team as well. So that's the comparison that I would make. So if you're going to compare Lorente to the Miller card, yes, Lorente is a better card, 100%. This card is really, really good this year, 100%. But... If you want to do it in the sense of getting a gameplay objective to get a fun link with Machis and somewhat be meta, it's okay to work with. But for the actual meta of the game, Lorente will be better for sure. The height is great to work with at six foot tall. Great dribbling stats, shooting pace, defending on a seven chemistry style. Look at this card on a 10, right? The card on a 10 is insane as well, right? So I use this guy on my main account and it's a good balance between him and Verratti playing in that 4-4-2 because one is the high medium and then one is the medium high for that nice little balance, right? So... But to be honest with you guys, for a gameplay objective, I'm not completely against the Miller card uh, for the variables around it. Like I said, the Machi's link, uh, the fact that he's pretty decent defensively, uh, not amazing defensively, but pretty decent defensively. It's, it's a cool card to get, again, for the links and for what he offers in game. But would I still choose Lorente over him? Absolutely. You guys know how it is when, when it comes to FIFA. But uh, yeah, hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. I'll catch you guys for the next one. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys.